Today, let's read something from the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus taught his disciples how they could lavish love on everyone. I'm going to read to you from Matthew chapter 5, verses 38 through 42. Here we go. The words of Jesus. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. As Jesus helped his followers better understand the law of Moses, he came to a law that had often been abused. Jesus began, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Now, the law of Moses does indeed teach this. But over time, religious leaders moved this command out of its proper place as a principle limiting punishment from the civil government to being an obligation in personal relationships. You see, Jesus demonstrated with his own life that evil should and must be resisted. Jesus here spoke of the evil that is done against us in personal relationships. Jesus himself was viciously insulted and spoken against. And we see how Jesus lived this principle himself. He did not retaliate at such times. That's why he says, but whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. You see, Jesus did not mean by this a physical attack that it can't be resisted or defended against. When Jesus spoke of a slap on your right cheek, it was culturally understood as a deep insult, not so much as a physical attack. You, you can see a corresponding verse to this in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 20. Jesus spoke here to personal relationships and not to the proper work of government in restraining evil. Uh, Paul talks about that in Romans chapter 13, starting at verse 1. So Jesus said, If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. Under the law of Moses, the outer cloak was something that could not be taken from someone. You'll find that in Exodus chapter 22, verse 26. Jesus wanted his disciples to gladly let go of what the law said they might legally keep. And then he says, whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. At that time, Judea was under Roman military occupation. Any Roman soldier might command a Jew to carry his backpack for one mile. Jesus said, go beyond what is required by law and give another mile out of love. That is how to transform an attempt to control us into an act of giving love. So Jesus said, give to him who asks of you. The only limit to this kind of sacrifice is the limit that love itself will set. It isn't loving to give in to someone's manipulation without our transforming it into a free act of love. It isn't loving to give someone what they ask for when giving it to them will do them more harm than good. Today, pursue the heart of a true disciple of Jesus and lavish love on everyone. As the Apostle Paul would later say in Romans chapter 12, verse 21, do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. Hey, Jesus, who is all good, lives inside of you, dear believer. Let him live his love out through you today.